just to show you how to mod these uh, cheap $3 truing stands. Um, it's probably the only one I would actually pick up to do wheels and uh, hub motors because you know, on a penning, spending $100 on something that's a uh, delicate piece of machinery just to fuck it up with a 300 pound motor. This here I don't really care too much about. But one thing I do care about is accuracy. Um, now originally it had these doodads here unthreaded. Uh, basically the setup is half of this is solid plastic with a hole in it. it goes to about here. And then they put an O-ring in there and then they push a piece of metal, uh, aluminum um, metal in there to squish the O-ring and the O-ring will expand and when you push this in it's supposed to rub against the metal. That's great and all, like this side here does work. So when you're truing the wheel and the wheel hits it, it doesn't move. It, it just goes where you wanted it to go in the, in the adjustments, right? This one over here, eh, there is nothing. Well, it's sort of working now. Hmm, maybe I don't have to do this. I'm going to do it anyway. These these things are garbage. Uh, ended up grabbing these. Just to make sure, go to the hardware store and make sure they're the same size. Uh, it's got a nice nut to it. You slide that in. And the nut will be the thread. And you just basically bolt it down like that. I'm going to put a bit of shoe goo on the top of the nut. Give it 24 hours to dry. Then remove the clamp and then fill the void all around it right to the nut and then you'll be able to just turn this to adjust it and it won't uh, slip and move anymore it's the quick and easy way of doing it it's more accurate that's for sure uh, let me get another clamp and then we'll uh, stick some glue on it talk to goo like i said once you um Got the bolt secured, then you can add more glue and uh, make it solid. This is basically just to uh, get it started. And I'll come down here in 24 hours once it sets and uh, fill the void. Cool. I just put on the side and uh, fill the void as you can see. Um, in 24 hours, that'll be rock hard or solid rubber. Um, Within a few hours, I can turn it over and do the other side. It'll be tacky enough where it won't run out. But uh, you just basically fill the void all the way around the, the nuts. And uh, try not to get it on the threads. If you do, when it dries, you can just pull it off. Like I said, it's rubbery. Dirty. Um, these are garbage. <laughs> this is good. Uh, at least this way I can... Um, you know, that's probably the, the, leak, the weakest link on this... Um, on this uh, truing stand was uh, this adjustments here. This one here is much better, but I barely use that one. Um, one thing that's nice about this is I'll be able to drill this out a little bit wider for a hub motor. Not a big deal. But, uh, if you do buy one of these, <laughs> guaranteed you're going to want to do it and get rid of these because these things are garbage. There it goes.